Hey everybody, this is Sparhawk, and oh my god, I'm, I'm posting a new video, and it's not Persona 4. What has happened? So, Dark Souls 2, I've been looking forward to this game for quite a while. Uh, I have a PS3 and a 360, but I didn't want to play it on either of those because, honestly, they look like shit. My PC is pretty good, so I waited for this version, the PC version. So, anyway, why am I doing Dark Souls 2? Because I want to. Not because I think it'll get views. I don't think it will, because a lot of people are doing this. Uh, I think it's a cool game. And, uh, I think uh, some of my friends would like to see it. And, you know, I just want to do something different. So, anyway, uh, I have played probably about an hour and a half, maybe two hours of this game so far. I have seen a lot of it through other YouTube videos. So, some of the things I will know, other things I will have to, like, feel out and figure out what's going on. It is going to be an interesting experience. There's probably going to be a lot of editing. There's going to be a lot of death, and there's going to be a lot of cutscenes. I'm going to watch all of them. You've seen it. Maybe like this one. In a dream. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to let this play. Enjoy. Forgotten land. Place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. Nah, the brains. Of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. to a flame. Your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. For that is your fate. The fate of the cursed.
Well, okay then. So you guys know exactly what's going on, right? Right? That video explained everything? Yeah, I am I am way confused. Uh, it, the storyline of this game is not straightforward by any means. Uh, basically, you have to piece it together very slowly, and you have to pay attention to basically everything. And I'm going to try to do that, um, but still though, I mean, it's confusing, like the intro... Fuck if I know what's going on. But man, does this game look so much better on PC than it does on 360 or PS3. So, uh, like I said, I played an hour and a half into this game, and I'm wearing some pretty sweet duds here. Uh, there are some items, I know where they're at. There are some enemies that I know how to kill. There are some enemies that I think I might be able to kill and probably get my ass kicked doing it. But, uh... Alright, so let's let's do some item hunting. So these guys here, these, well, that are running away from me, they will not fuck with me if I do not fuck with them. And I do not plan messing with them, because they will gangbang you if you hit one of them. Alright, so a lot of these items, I don't even remember what they are. Rusted coin, who the fuck knows what that does. Let's, uh, let's look at the inventory. Rusted coin. Temporarily boosts luck. Oh, okay. And I don't, like... I wonder if we can... I haven't even tried this yet. Can we even look? I'm gonna break out my mouse here. I'm actually playing on a controller right now. But can we even look and... Is there uh There we go. Alright, so we can actually see what each of these stats does. So... This is the one I've been really curious about. Boost the power of bleed attacks. Oh, that's, that's nice. Alright, so we can come back to this if we have any questions. Uh, whenever we're leveling up... Uh, a lot of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory and how the numbers work and help each other. But there's still a lot of questions I have for player status. And uh, we'll probably be going back to that more often. So if you are not familiar with Dark Souls 2, or Dark Souls, or Demon Souls, this... Get the hell out of the way. These games are extremely difficult. They are like beat you in the face, kick you in the balls, hit you when you're down, difficult. So... Uh, be prepared for lots of deaths on my part. Um, I should actually just show you like a quick way to die right over here. Uh, I will probably try that later as sort of an example of getting my ass handed to me at the very beginning of the game. But first, let's go to this hut. Uh, there's a couple of items. We'll, we'll get those when we come back. Hey, ladies. What's going on? <laughs> Seems to be the ruckus. Oh my! I'll take the one on the right. Face. Them boobs. The face of the curse. All right, be quiet. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear. Didn't you? <laughs> nice You're textured hair finished. you got there. You'll go hollow. Yes. You'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men. Feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the curse. No, <laughs> uh, you know. What is your name? It's undead thing, you know. What is my name? Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just uh, we'll go spar. Sure. Uh, you know what? I take that back. Let's go, Charlie Tunoku. I am positive. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Her teeth just weird me out, man. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Think back, deep into your past. 
Yes. It's an effigy of you. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. All right, so we can actually make our character. Uh, let's, uh, not gonna really spend much time doing this. Let's break out the face here. Homeland, we're gonna go ahead and be uh, super pale. So looking kind of Russian here. Uh, hair. Yeah, we're gonna go with that hair color. Uh, let's make it white hair color. Eyebrows, oh yeah, look real angry. Eyebrow color. And this guy, tempting, very tempting. This could look really, really bizarre. Uh, let's uh, I don't know. Let, let's at least match here. Eye color. Um, yeah, let's go with red. That that's that looks good. Beard, big old bushy beard. Beard color. I don't know. I think our character's looking kind of badass right now. Let's uh, break out a sweet unicorn tattoo or horse tattoo. I don't think that's really necessary. Um, a dragon tattoo, sure, why not? Tattoo color, we'll make it red. Opacity, let's make that dark. Oh man. Wow, it didn't even give us a... Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so... Advanced settings here. You can actually go ahead and adjust the nose, mouth. Excuse me, nose, mouth, jaw, beard, tattoo, whatever. Uh, I'm not really interested in doing all of that. So, class warrior knight. I actually started playing a knight, and it was it was actually pretty good. But uh, I kind of want to try cleric. I don't know. Like like truly, I am I'm just a total goddamn noob at this game. So I'm kind of worried about doing Cleric, since it seems like melee is so straightforward, but you know what, fuck it, let's do it. And uh, you get to choose a gift. I really have no idea what some of this stuff does. Petrified something, a simple petrified lump, maybe of use someday, I, I don't know. Um, raise the strength, okay, I don't think I want that. See of a tree of giants, nope, don't even know what it does. I know what a homeward bone does, it's kind of useless. It basically just takes you back to the nearest bonfire, or your last bonfire. Human effigy, yeah, that'd be handy to have. I actually like the life ring. It'll help us out probably the most as we go along that I know of out of all of these. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. And let's uh, finalize creation. Is this your true self? Well, that shit looks like my true self. Um... Am I gonna have to fight my persona or something? All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm. Doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what are we laughing about? through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You'll lose your souls. All of them. Over and over oh, yeah. again. Oh yeah, close up on them teeth. Oh yeah. I just want to lick him. Oh, we got we got all the things. All right, all right, yep. So I guess all of what I just got there is shit. Oh my god, I have the weirdest layout here. All of that was stuff that we get from maybe ordering the game through Steam or something. I I don't know, but we need to do some inventory management. So. Uh, it looks like I have my Cleric's Sacred Chime and, and Mace both in one hand. I I really want to have my Sacred Chime in that hand. Oh! 
Unable to use this item effectively with priests with present attributes. Wow, that fucking sucks. So what else do I have? Oh. Huh. So we need more strength. Well, uh... Okay then. Well, let's go ahead and... Two-hand it. Maybe this will help uh, get past the, the strength burden we've got. So I'm not really a big fan of, of shields. So I'm going to try to two-hand all my weapons and roll out of a lot of the, uh, the attacks that come at us. So I believe this is a human effigy. It is indeed. And right now we are human. When we are not human, you, you can probably definitely tell. Um, did we come in over here? I think we came in over here. So I'm going to go back the way... Oh, that's not the way we came. Although I'm going to use the, the bonfire here. So bonfires basically are like waypoints and you can also heal at them but if you decide to heal at them uh everything respawns in that in that level so basically uh you need to be careful whether you actually just use one or you rest at one but there is a little nook right over here there's an item that i want it should be a shiny rock i'm sorry a silky stone Which we will be using later. And there is an enemy that I want to give a shot. We're going to find out real quick whether I can kill it or not. So, alright, there's the tracks for it. Awesome. So, now, once again, guys, I am not very good at this game. And I really don't like the control scheme, but we're going to give this a shot. So, this thing's really big that we're tracking here. And there it is. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. I've got a feeling this thing's, this thing's gonna beat my ass, but let's find out. Alright, so you can see that barely did any damage at all. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm out of here. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Well, he just about ate me. So that's what I came for. And we're getting the fuck out of here. Okay. Well, that was that was fun. Uh, so I've got a heal. I got three of them. Why? Can I use this? No. Um. How how do I even use heal? I don't even know. This? No, that's not it. And I feel like an idiot now. Oh! Alright, so I guess that's how you use it. Okay, so... The cleric can heal. Um, like I said, I've never actually used magic before. I was mostly playing a melee character, so who knows? How this is all going to go down. Let's go ahead and heal up at this bonfire. I guess I didn't really need to use my spell. Um, it's a tune spell, so I... Okay, well, never mind. All I have is heal. And I think my controller has... Oh, controller! The fuck? There we go. So, my controller's been having problems lately. It just kind of randomly stops working. Uh, and it's a new controller and not the old controller I used to use, which also had the same problem. But whatever. So this is sort of like a, a tutorial stage. Uh, you'll see all these plaques that pop up um, that I can read. And I'm going to ignore them because I pretty much know how to play the game. In general, like this is going to tell me, oh, attack with the uh, RB button. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and beat the shit out of this guy. What's up, bro? Alright, so... We can wield this thing two-handed, and it does a ton of damage. Uh, so that's that's really good. I'm very happy to see that. And this guy over here. Oh, took more than one hit to kill him. Uh, I think there's a guy over here. He's just chilling, looking over in this direction. So this shows a backstab. We just crushed his skull, like the badass that we are. And there's a fat. 
Cyclops dude sitting down there. I I really don't want to fight those guys, but I have a I have a strategy to kill at least one of them. The AI can be sometimes really dumb. I'm gonna try to get him to fall off a ledge. So let's go up here. Do a little looking around. Okay, there's a guy over there. He looks a lot like what I was wearing earlier. I don't want to use the dagger. I think he managed to peg me with an arrow. Oh, this is buddy. Alright, so this intro area is very, very easy. Unless you try to fight those big Cyclops guys, then you're going to have a bad time, or you get pegged with arrows. Actually, those arrows barely do any damage at all, so. Come here, buddy. So, my previous experience is actually with Demon Souls. I skipped the original Dark Souls. Uh, I watched a lot of videos on it, but I never actually played it myself. So this is a an interesting new experience, and I can't wait. All right, there's something bizarre that goes on with this nest. You, you, give us food. Yes, you, give us Suki. Okay, so I think what we need to do here is that that stone that we got, this one right here, the small, smooth, and silky stone. We leave it on the ground, and those really fucking bizarre voices are gonna. Uh, okay. Yeah, All right. yeah. Smooth. Yep. Sweet. Awesome. And what they do is they switch it to something else. Last time I got something that wasn't a bolt stone. I ended up. Give it smooth. Oh man, they are freaking me out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, get right on it. Um, so we kick down this ladder, let's go down, and we can actually slide right on down like a badass, without getting hurt. Uh, there was another tutorial area over here, I don't even know if I need to go in here, but I'm uh, gonna do it anyway. And it looks like we've got some new friends. That guy just got fucked up. So I think the point of this area was that guy was actually, if I had a shield, he was going to try to shield break me, but uh, unfortunately that didn't work out so well for him. So, there is a jump button in this game, and to use it, you have to push in the left stick and run while you're doing it. So let's see if I can do this here. It's actually really more difficult than what you may think. I haven't fucked it up yet, me and that, that weird shadow are walking along here. So, uh, man, I guess I should explain those. I didn't even realize there was a ladder there until I saw that guy on it. I've never noticed that before. My brain! Uh, so, those are basically shadows of other players playing the game right now. And you'll see messages on the ground and blood pools on the ground. And you can look and see what, what messages players have left. And you can also see uh, how some players have died. So, in case there's a trap and you see a blood pool, you can look, you know, click on the blood pool and you'll see the shadow of the character dying. So, it's actually, it's pretty cool. Um, you can also be invaded by other players, but I don't know the mechanics behind it, so if I end up getting invaded, then I get invaded. Well, this is new. I have not done this. So it's telling me about guard break. Well, falling plunge attack. Is there a guy down here I'm going to plunge attack? Let's do it. Wow. Huh, okay, so uh, I have a right bumper attack, which does a quick attack, then I have a long big attack. And I really don't use the long big attack, it's just too slow. And speed is of the essence in this game, so I'm just gonna ignore that. Oh, well, I've really no, no idea where we're at. A cracked red eye orb. Uh, let's see what that does. It probably has something to do with PvP. Invade other worlds, okay. Uh, 
Uh, oh, all right. So I was wondering how we're gonna get out of there and why I haven't been here yet. Um, wow, I can't believe I missed all of this. So it appears there's a, okay, yep. So that's where we're gonna go next is probably that room. Right over here. There are certain objects you can actually interact with, and this is one of them. I'm gonna kick this tree down. Yeah, while that asshole shoots me. Alright, easy. And down here, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and use. I'm gonna use this real quick. Oh, shit! Oh, I'm so fu- I cannot believe I got- I cannot believe I died! I hit the wrong button, and I fell down, hurt myself, and died. It's not a big deal. It's really easy to get back here, but I still can't believe I died. Can't believe I died right there. <laughs> I'm the best. Actually, yeah, I forgot a little, little treasure right here. Let's go ahead and break that out here. There we go. God damn it, I can't believe I did that. I'm the best. Now I believe it was right here that I was just at. It was. Okay, so I'm gonna fall down here. Hopefully I can fall and bash this guy in the skull on the way. I can. I'm gonna get my souls that I lost. I'll explain that mechanic here in just a moment. I'm gonna get pegged. Oh wow, I did not get hit. Okay, so let's let's oh man, see our character? Doesn't look like a badass. So let's talk about souls. Uh, when you die, you drop all the souls you currently have on you, and it goes down to zero. And souls are used to buy levels, to buy equipment, to get all sorts of stuff. So souls are very important. Um, at the early, early levels, like, you know, lower amounts of souls, like two or three thousand, are kind of important. But as you get higher in level, and you start fighting bigger and badder things, um, souls, you know, leveling up costs more, equipment costs more, and easier to get souls, so like two or three thousand means less and less as you go, so, um, hey bro, uh, alright, so here we've got this big guy, I don't think I want to fuck with him, what I'm, well, I do, I do want to mess with that guy, but I want to do something else first, so, let's go ahead and knock this tree down, this conveniently placed tree, and there is an ambush set up right down here. This guy right here to our right is going to get all pissed at me. Oh, well, the other guy got pissed at me too. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the bridge. It's nice and safe, I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. So what I am hoping is that they try to follow me on this bridge and the fat asses fall off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You can't give up already. Oh, this one's not. Come on. Come on, tons of fun. Yeah, come on. Yeah, it's it's nice and easy. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's, uh... No, no, oh, no, 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 yep. Ah, <laughs> you dumbass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was like, uh... 800 souls, something like that? Mmm, tasty. What if I get the other one to come up here and do it too? So, what is... You know, I never actually killed that guy. I wonder if I can check what's in that. Without either one getting pissed off. Um, I don't know what he's doing, but whatever. Is there anything in here? I hope this doesn't do anything. No! Oh god, no! This- Oh, this is such a poor choice! This was such a poor choice. I- I have no idea where we've gone. The nature of- What?! I'm female?! 
Really? Really? Get back in there. Get back in there. And the magical sex changing sarcophagus. I had no idea. <laughs> wow. Alright, tons of fun. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, I know you want to eat me. Come on. Let's go. Quit being a bitch. Duh. Duh. I want to eat the... Duh. Oh, God. He's back. Oh, God. Everything's back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ugh. Uh, can I even leave here? Wow, that guy is real pissed. Come on. Heal up. That's pretty cool. Oh, no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, God. I didn't mean to use it twice. Whatever. No big deal. Um. So now I switch to... Nah. And then I switch to... Nah. Oh, oh. There we go. Hey, bro, I'm back over here. Just little steps, little steps. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go. So really, oh, that gut just swinging. Um, better his gut than his balls and dick. Uh, I'm hoping I can have him fall off like the other one. This this guy was the one that actually... No, no, come on. Come on. Whatever, I give up. I really wonder what he's hiding behind him. But there's some sort of item there or something. Anyway, let's get out of here. We are actually missing something pretty important that we're going to get coming up. This is weird. I don't see anything on the ground. Oh, there we go. Alright, so here's the messages on the ground. Try rear. Okay, that's cool. Uh, hurrah for death and hurrah for victory. Yep, that pretty much sums up uh, uh, Dark Souls. Hurrah for tears. Praise the sun. Illusory wall ahead. Everybody says that. I, I never figured out what this is. There are illusory walls, but I can't figure out how to get into them. So, oh well. Give it up. Nope. Ah, the light. Let it wash over you. So, something else I forgot to talk about. Whenever you die, you, like, if you see my health up there, you'll notice that my my life bar is not full. It's it's down by just a little bit. So every time I die, that keeps on going down more and more until I use a human effigy, and I come back uh, as human. So basically, if I keep dying, my health bar is going to get smaller and smaller. I don't even know what the divine blessing is. It's a divine blessing. Play restores HP and cures all status effects. Oh, that's pretty sweet. And here we are at the lovely town of Majula. I, I use the word town loosely here. Uh, and we have another bonfire. Let's light it up. Uh, should we rest at it? Should we rest at it? Yeah, we should rest at it. Okay. Now, the most important NPC in this game is right down here. Let's go talk to her. Are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse, I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Got an Estus flask. That's. We're going to be using that a lot. Go on and see the king. He who made Dranglake what it once was. 
He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrick. We may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald. And she is the Emerald Herald. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me, so that hope will not fade away. Bearer of the... Seek souls. Larger, yep. more powerful souls. Yep, got it. Souls. Seek the king. That is the only way, lest this land swallow you whole, as it has so many others. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about uh, what she just what she just said to us. So, between the intro video, the old lady is talking at us, and her, I get the impression that we are, we were somehow cursed, lost all of our memories, and as one of the cursed ones, we became undead and eventually wandered to Drang Lake. Um, and by wandering, I mean we fell through some pit of despair uh, and, and ended up here. Uh, all of that really doesn't make sense to me right now, but basically, there's a curse here. We're cursed, and to break the curse, we need to go meet the king. And to meet the king, we need souls! Lots and lots of souls, so... Um, let's go ahead and level up with the souls that we currently have, 1660. Um, we have uh, 11 strength. Let's... I, I really, really want to pump strength, so let's go ahead and pump that right now. You can see there in the attributes what that means. Our HP goes up, our attack for strength goes up, our physical defense goes up, and you can see my weapon damage over there on the right there that actually increases. Um, um, yeah, okay, so it increases our defense as well. A lot of these other ones are pretty good too. Faith will let us uh, memorize more spells, I think. You can see there's slot. It's under uh, equip load, stamina, and HP. That will let us cast more spells or have, have more spells available. So I eventually want to pump Faith quite a bit. But for now, I want to get better weapons. So we're going to go ahead and pump Strength. There is one weapon in particular that I want to give a try. Now, I was messing with this weapon before... Uh, on my other character, and I really enjoyed using it. Uh, and it's actually very easy to get. You can get it here. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll be our first first thing we do after getting to Majula. So let's go check it out. I have no idea what like what time I'm at right now. It could have been we could be at like 20 minutes, we could be at like 50 minutes, who the fuck knows. But I I don't care. This is this is more of a do it for fun as opposed to uh, do it for a channel type thing. And I believe there's a drop off. Oh shit, it's not there. Let us let us not do that. Um Uh maybe it's over well oh, no. Maybe it's here. Last time there were messages all up in front of it. Let's go ahead and drop from here. There we go. Literally here. Nothing else to get, so let's go ahead and drop where it's telling us to. There's a delicious item right back here. So the Morning Star and the Cleric Sacred Chime. It's the Morning Star I was really going for. I think I already have a Cleric Sacred Chime. Um, yeah, so that was our second one. Doesn't really matter. We, we might be able to sell it later. Doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, so let's go ahead and move along here. Binoculars, which, oddly enough, are really good for using uh, like spells long range. You break out your binoculars, you can cast spells and aim them by just kind of generally pointing in the middle of the uh, the screen. They don't give you a crosshair or anything like that. Um, try jumping and then item ahead. That is, wow, they really want you to die. So let's go ahead and see if uh, somebody took that advice. Let's touch a bloodstain. They were like, yeah, I'm going to try this. Let's try jumping. Oh, God. Well, so much for him. See what this bloodstain does. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try to run. I'm gonna try to run. Yeah, I got. Oh man, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm gonna upvote this. Uh, rate message, rate it. Yeah, yeah. I want more people to die here. 
jumping. Yay! Wow, what a goddamn trolls. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try to go in here. Uh, this is where I, I lose my... No, 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 no. We're not doing that. There's one thing I want to get first. So let's go over here. Wow, that guy, you can basically almost really see him. He fades away. So there's one thing I definitely want to do. There's all sorts of uh, little nooks and crannies you can check through here. Through Majula. And I, I want to do... Uh, there's one specific thing that I want. The rest of this stuff's not really that important. Life gems, you know, who gives a shit? Um, I've never actually been over here before. Uh, so life gem, not so important, but kind of kind of handy to have. Ring required ahead. I remember seeing this in a Let's Play, and I remember what I gotta do here. Uh, it's too far for too far of a jump for us to survive right now, but this we can do. Voila! An Estus flask shard. These are super important. And the reason why they're important is because we can actually turn them into our uh, Emerald Herald over here and increase the number of times we can use our Estus Flask. What does the Estus Flask do? Blah, blah, blah. What does the Estus Flask do? Well, let me show you. So we're going to put it in our bar down here. And basically, it heals us. And it's a reasonable heal. Every time we rest at a bonfire, it rejuvenates. So it's our main way that we use to heal ourselves. What is there we go. Bear of the Yep, bear of the curse, Seek souls, the yep, king, yes, yep, got it. Yep, swallow, whatever. Uh upgrade Estus Flask. Yes, give her a shard. So now every time that we rest at a fire, we can use two Estus Flasks instead of one. So that's pretty cool. Oh god. I'll sit in B to get out of that menu and B actually also makes you jump back as well, and this game's just designed to fuck you up. Alright, so let's go ahead and get down this dungeon and find out what we can what we can get up to here. There's a short bow I could have gotten in town. No, no, I couldn't have gotten it yet. I need to there's a, a key that I need. I don't even know if this is where I'm supposed to go first, but this is where I am going first. You can see these other guys are in pretty sweet armor. Basically, uh, they start off as the knight. Um, oh, oh, rusted coin. Lucky me. Okay. And this always makes me very nervous, so... I don't think there's anything I can do with this gate. But there is something I can do over here? I'm sorry about the, uh, the overlay there for Steam. So this door, you can't roll under it. I tried. Um, basically, like you just gotta wait for it. But the door does come slamming down if you're not quick enough. And it will crush you and kill you. So, you know, Dark Souls is designed to fuck you over. Alright, so let's, let's take a look at this place real quick. So, water, you cannot swim. You can walk through, like, knee level water, but anything past that, and you just automatically die. So, I think this is sort of a puzzle not to, not to fall in the water. I'm gonna be very careful here. Nice and slow. Okay, we got it. Open up the chest. Okay, from the wrong side. Uh, there are mimics in this game, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this chest a big, a good thwack. Make sure it's not a mimic. The mimics will automatically eat you if you fuck it up. So it's, I believe it's instant death if you accidentally run into a mimic. So, another wonderful part of Dark Souls. So I believe I need to make a running jump to do this. Oh, there's all the blood stains. Holy shit. Bam, got it. I think if I hadn't made that, I just would have died. Right on that ledge right there. Homeward Bone and Soul of the Lost Dead. Undead. Uh, if you look in the inventory, you can see these souls that you find. And you can pop those and get souls immediately. But it's sort of like a way to hold souls without losing them when you die. So we only want to use those probably when we're in town. And we need them for a specific thing. 
so how did this guy die? Did I touch it? There we go. Yep, yep. Down he went. So. It looks like we got some enemies here. Wow, at a distance, he looks like he's fucking drunk. Alright. Let's... Yep, come on. Come on. Here, boy! And he dropped a hollow infantry boots. I'm not, despite the fact that I don't have anything on my feet, I'm not really that worried about uh, armor. Actually, in general in this game, I'm, I'm never really worried about armor. So far, anyway. It seems like armor is less important than uh, being able to actually dodge. And armor will slow you down if you pass your encumbrance. Like, you'll they call it fat rolling. So, you gotta be really careful about that. Um, there is an item on some ledge that I saw. And I never could figure out how to get to it. But let's go ahead and get to our bonfire. There's one hidden over here. I am not going to rest at it. I'm just gonna light it. Because I feel like we're in pretty good shape. I haven't taken any damage yet. Uh, give it time. Don't worry, guys. I will. And that guy just shot me through his friend. Fucking classic Dark Souls. go yeah okay so we dropped an item it's probably oh no, it's life gem that's good and I believe there's one item I'm missing I don't think it really matters this guy's gonna come to life I'm gonna go ahead and miss him that's cool cool story bro all right uh, is this any good so I've lost undead not bad okay so that area was actually very easy. It is really, really, really easy to get uh, mobbed by these guys. So if you're not careful, you can get fucked up pretty quick. Uh, oh god, this place suck. Fucking sucks. Oh god! Just got shot in the ass, I think. Uh, wow, there's a guy in some white armor. I think if I kill that guy, he'll drop a really cool sword. But he's actually very difficult to kill. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my life gems. I. Oh, hey! Hey there! What's up, guy? Do a quick roll, make sure I'm not getting shot. Uh, I'm gonna kill. Before I try to kill that guy, I'm gonna try to kill that archer. There's an archer somewhere around here. Um, don't think I want to go in there. Maybe I do. So let's go over here real quick. And I believe this is where our archer friend is hiding out. I believe there's more than just the archer. I think there's two guys on these stairs as well. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! Getting out of there. Getting out of there. Getting out of there. Let's go, go, go. Go, go, go. Crank out a life gem. I really don't want to die here. Come on down. Come on down. So it looks like they are coming down. Coming down the ladder to try to kill me. That's unfortunate for him. Yep, next one up. <laughs> Suckers. So up we go, and let's go take out that archer. Wherever he may be. Uh, there is, I believe, an item up here. Make sure I don't fall off, because it is very easy to fall. Oh god, oh god! Alright, so there's an item... I believe I saw it somewhere down here. Wherever. Oh god. Oh god. Don't want to get shot. Don't want to fall off. 
There we go. Alright, so let's go kill him. No! Ah, he shot me in the knee. I'm an asshole. Let's make a running jump. And get this item here. So, we have everything that we need from here now. Except for trying to kill that one guy and take. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe. Maybe I should keep going forward and get to the next bonfire, then come back and try to kill him. I think that's going to be my plan. Because I'm. I think we're close to the next bonfire. I don't know. We'd have to be. Unless it's a boss and I'm just going to get fucking owned. That very well could be as well. So, this guy's actually pretty tough. Um, I probably won't be able to kill him, but we'll, we'll come back and try. Uh, maybe I should just switch to that wonderful Morning Star. Mm. I will come back to it later. So what is in here? I don't remember at all. Oh, I remember what's in here. Ugh. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this and try to get to the next bonfire. So there's a guy to our left, and there's two guys in here. And if we just jump in, we might get our asses kicked. So let's use a life gem and hop in. Say hello. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, we got him. It's all good. This other guy is going to be facing the other direction. I need to come up and say hello. Oh, we got a shield. Now this guy is actually a pain in the ass. I really don't know how to how to deal with this guy very well. Oh shit! One more hit. There we go. Yeah, I he just beats my ass. Let's use an SS flask. I don't know why. I don't know why I have a hard time with those guys. Uh, so up here, there's gonna be a guy with a bow and arrow, and a guy up top throwing, I believe, uh, fire bombs as well like an asshole, so we're going to have to quickly get up here and kill. Oh, we just get fucked up. Using my Estus Flask, we are close to the, the bonfire. I need to kill this guy. Bam, he's dead, and there's one more I want to kill, so I can get the item right there. And voila! Actually, I take that back. There's one more guy I'm going to need to kill. So I booted the game up, and I only played for, I would say... I played for two hours. I'd only meant to just figure out the controls and then be done with it. But uh, I just I just got engrossed in the game and kept playing and playing. There is a sword, I believe, all the way down here at the very bottom that I really want. But we will come back to that some other day. Actually, preferably once, once I go in here. <laughs> and there is our bonfire. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, it, it's not Persona 4. It's fucking blowing my mind. I don't know what it's like to play anything but that game. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.